Right, so what I'm going to do now is, back with the uh, LCD in E flat, now I'm going to adjust the volumes on this because at the moment I've got the volume on about, about 8 o'clock, um, which is quite low because I'm actually using the volume with the, uh, with the power station to get it to a decent volume for recording. So I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible so there's not much time in between so you can hear the differences. So I'm going to put the tube stream setting back to the normal settings. So it sounds like this. I'm going to try and play the same riff, uh, riff sorry, and we'll see what the difference is like. So at the moment, volume's at low and I've got the volume at my normal level on the power station. And it sounds like this. I'm just going to adjust the volumes now. The volume now is is basically on at two o'clock on this, so this is running full pelt. Now I don't know what it sounds like coming through the recording, uh, but in the room. It sounds shit. It's squeaking a lot and it's got, it's overdriving the power amps, uh, the power valves, and it's just too muffly. That's not what you want in uh, an overdrive set, set sound. So I'll bump them back up. Put it to about 10 o'clock. So now that sounds a lot better. Uh, I'm going to have to see what it sounds like when it comes through on the video, but that sounds a lot better. And what I can technically do now is, I'm, I'm not going to do it, but I could whack this volume up. It's on, it's on like two at the moment. So... I'll do it slowly. It's clipping already. I mean, that's at halfway, and you can just hear the hiss. So you can imagine if I took. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'll put a headphone warning. That's how loud you can get it just from that. So I'll put it back down now. So, I'll put the, the flat and deep switch in, I'm going to put it in the warm setting, and you can hear how much, how much it beefs it up. I'll put it into the deep. too much. Uh, I'll put it that down to the flat and then I'll put the the bright one onto the bright setting. Put it down to the flat. And I'll put it on the edge. Noise coming through that. What I'll do is I'll put it on the clean, take the overdrive off, 
and I'll put the gain in about halfway. So we've got a pretty clean sound now. And I'll put both switches all the way up. All the way down. down and I'll put the presence and the depth all the way up and then I'll put them all the way down so as you can tell just by having this power station you could stick this on top of the power station have a 2x12 cab still compact enough and you can get an nearly an infinity amount of sounds out of it. I mean, if I stick the Dimension Z reverb pedal on, put everything up bright. Uh, so this is everything up now, the edge switch, the deep switch, presence and depth. Quite bright, very bright actually. Put it on the neck pickup. a bit too bright for me. Put everything on the um, deep. So there you go, uh, that was just, a, just to show you that what the power station can do when you, when you can buy it with a, a little small amp like this. So my overall opinion is just buy it, just get one of these for the price of it. Um, I don't think there's a better amp out there. Like I said, the PRS MT15 is a really, really good amp. I would like to get one, one of them back again. Uh, but yeah, for the price of this. It's a winner. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, and I'll uh, see you on the next one.